Say for example, you got an integer variable i whose value is 10 and you got a floating point number j which is say 20.23. Now if you decide to multiply these two that is i into j, one is of the type integer and the other is of the type real number or a floating point number. So in order to multiply numbers, it is important that both of the numbers be of the same data type. Otherwise multiplication is not possible. But C compiler comes to your rescue. So what it does is it defines different data types in an hierarchy. In the sense, bool is at the lowest level. Next is the character. After that is the short int. Then it is int and so on all the way till long double. So if you look here, the hierarchy or the level of int is lesser than float. That is int i has a level which is lesser than float j. So what it does is it promotes i to float automatically and then does the multiplication. So you will have a better understanding of this concept after we take a look at a simple example and then discuss the rules for promotion. This automatic promotion of variables or data types by the C compiler is known as implicit data promotion or implicit data conversion because I am not doing anything on my own to change the data type of integer i to floating point number type. So here what I have done is I have defined a variable called as integer variable called as age whose value is 2. I have defined a character called as gender whose initial value is a. a is nothing but internally it represents the ASCII value 65 since it is capital A. Next to what I am doing is I am saying age and I am multiplying it by the gender. So in this case age is 2, gender is 65. But if you notice gender is of the type character whereas age is of the type integer. So in order for this multiplication to happen, what the C compiler does is it promotes gender also to the type of int and then multiplies 2. So now when you try to print f the age, age is going to print as 130. This multiplication was only possible because the lower type of data or also called as the narrow type of data was promoted to a wider type of data. Makes sense. The capacity of integer is obviously greater than a character. So it makes more sense to promote a character to an integer because there will be no loss of data. If you try to take int and make it character, there is obviously going to be a loss of data because int is of a wider type whereas character is of a narrow type. So let's take a look at some of the rules involved in the promotion of this particular data type. So if you look at the different rules the rules to promote the narrower data type to the wider data type. So this is actually the hierarchy. You can think of it this way. You can think bool has the lowest capacity and double or long double has the highest capacity. So if I want to multiply bool with long double, then it makes sense to promote bool to double because then there is no loss of information. So let's take an example. Suppose I'm adding bool to a character or I'm multiplying bool with a character. In this case, what happens is bool is promoted to a character. If I'm multiplying a character with an int, then character is promoted to short int. Assuming I'm multiplying character with short int. If I'm multiplying short int with int, short is promoted to int. If I'm multiplying a signed int, okay, with an unsigned int, signed int is promoted to an unsigned int. Similarly, an unsigned int is promoted to a long int. Long int to an unsigned long int. Unsigned long int to a long long int. And a long long is promoted to a float. A float is promoted to a double. And finally, a double is also promoted to a long double or if there is any higher data type. This promotion from a wider data type, sorry, promotion from a narrower data type to a wider data type is done by the C compiler without any intervention or without me giving any instructions to the compiler. So where is this useful? Suppose you are having expressions involving arithmetic and logical. Logical means greater than, lesser than, equal to, 
that is relational and equality not equal to equal to there you cannot compare a narrower data type with a wider data type because the capacity of a narrow data type is much less than the capacity of the wider data type. So C brings both of them on the same level and then does the job. To give you a simple example, let's say I have, okay, I have int i is equal to 10 and I have a double j is equal to 23.36 all right i have in j i is equal to 10 double j is equal to 23.36 now if i say j is assigned i into j what is going to happen here is this type of data type of i is also going to be temporarily promoted to double in this multiplication so i also will become a double type of variable the multiplication takes place and the result of the multiplication will get stored in j so this is what you should really understand by implicit type of data type conversion it is extensively used in when you're using it in comparison, greater than, lesser than, arithmetic expressions, equality, not equality, and so on. So as we do a few examples during the course of the C programming lectures, you will get a very clear idea of it. But just be sure you understand that a lower data type having a narrow width is promoted to a higher data type. For example, if I'm multiplying a short with a float, the short int is going to be promoted to a float, not the other way around.